What up, Wastelanders, and welcome back to Violent Privilege. My name is Hunter, and today I'm going to be going over a mod spotlight. So thank you for coming back to the channel to see another one of my Fallout 4 videos. Now, I did do a recent video with the top five mods you should download for Xbox, especially if you're just starting out console modding. Since the console mods were just released to Xbox, and next month PlayStation will get them as well, I wanted to really start getting this channel into the console modding world, and starting to talk about the mods early and getting them out onto YouTube for everybody else to see. Because I really wanted to go over the mods and explain a lot of the stuff for you guys. So, with this mod spotlight, it's going to be the build your own vault mod, which is basically you build your own vault. So in this video, I'm going to build my own vault, speed run through that, and I'm going to talk about what you can do. So let's begin. Now, when you get into building a vault, you have many options to choose from. First, you've got the main room, and to start building your vault, you're going to have to build an elevator and then the elevator door. Once you have the vault door in any one of the settlements inside of Fallout 4, you can go down into the vault. You'll have the main room, and then off to the left, you'll have another room that you can go through with two doors. And once you get into that room, it's an empty room with a workbench or a workstation. Once you activate that, you can start building anything from walls to doors to hallways, staircases, railings, windows. Doesn't really matter what you want to build. You can literally build anything related to a vault. And you can build one story rooms to three story rooms to ten story rooms. It doesn't really matter how tall you want to get. You do have different pieces though, and it's really self explanatory. First, you have floors ceilings and walls you have doorways hallways you have large rooms small rooms you have windows elevators stairways you have bridges these kind of pieces are going to link together in some way or another and basically what you're going to do is you're going to create a room by first creating a doorway and then connecting another doorway onto the other side of that to create the complete door from there you're going to have walls on both sides of that door so you're going to create your walls, you're going to create your flooring, then you're going to create your ceiling, and then from there you can locate wherever you're going to put your doors, wherever you're going to put your staircases, and wherever you're going to put your bridges in your room. Now as you can see right here I created an elevator and I'm going to be creating a second floor on top of the other floor. And I do make the elevator even taller, I make it a three story elevator, I just don't connect another room onto the very top yet. I'm still building the vault and it's going to take a while to really finish because I want to make this thing huge because what the game does is it gets rid of the entire world of Fallout 4 and loads it as one small little chunk of existence into the game data. So when you've actually got the vault loaded, nothing is taken up in space. You can literally build this thing for hours and still have plenty of room to build more. And that's the really cool thing about it because they literally give you the least amount of game load for the main game to leave a lot of room for you to build a vault. You can make this vault the size of fucking Pluto, the size of Mars, the size of Jupiter. You can literally build a planet inside of Earth because... I mean, you know, you're, you're randomly building each of the vaults inside the sky, but, you know, everybody knows that the vaults are actually inside the ground. I don't know. We, we see the sky for no apparent reason. I guess it's a free zone where we can build infinitely, but that's really how the mod works. Now, when you're doing this, there are going to be some pieces that don't fit together. That just means that they don't go there. Just make sure that you look for the right pieces. You've got corner wall pieces, normal wall pieces. You've got cornered hallways, you've got intersection hallways, you've got even different kinds of doors. You've got an automatic sliding door, a sliding door, a button press door, you even got a door that stays open permanently, and you can either decide to not even put a door in the doorway. You don't even have to have a door. It's just an entryway if you just leave it empty. Now, I am building the bridges and the stairways right now in the video, and this part was really time-consuming. It was a pain in the ass to try to actually line up the pieces, but I eventually got it. It's okay. There's a lot easier way to do it than what I did, and I didn't really realize that at first because you can start adding doorways to each one of the railways. I didn't do that for this room. In the next big room that I have though, I will be doing that and I will be showing that in another spotlight when I'm actually showing you guys some more building stuff. So there's the building. 
The building is done. We're actually going to go through the thing now. So this is the room with the workshop. I ended up having some shelves put in in a bed. And then we can move on to the rest of it. I'm going to go through the main doorway. This is an automatic sliding door. Once you go through those two doorways, you'll end up getting into my first big room. As you can see, I got a food automatic machine. I've got a uh, basketball hoop. Over here, I ended up having a little sleeping room for everybody, for the main workers of the vault, basically. Then over here, I had a game room. Pretty cool. I thought it was interesting to have the game room. And it was really nice. It was, it was really bright and lively. Now, I am going to be showing you how to fully power your vault. I actually was surprised with this. You get about 600 power from one small generator, no matter where you put it in your vault. And I'm going to show you where I put mine in my vault, but it literally powered the entire vault. You didn't even have to connect any generators anywhere else. You have one generator in one random room, and it supplies enough power for everything. So here's the stairways. Here's the bridges, the different bridges. I mean, two sections of bridges. It was really really fun to try to actually get that to work. So we're going to go up to the second floor and then I'll show you that third floor that I was talking about too. So there's a second floor. We're not going to show you that right now. We're going to go to the third floor so you can move up. It gives you that option and there you go. There's nothing there. If we fell out of this elevator right now we would actually land on the second floor. So we're going to go back down to the second floor and walk around a little bit. So there's a little bedroom or storage room, whatever you want to make it. We've also got another one right here and there's another one on the other side of the elevator as well. I just thought to make more rooms, to make this place a lot more roomy, or have a lot more space for people to live in. So here's another bedroom kind of in the works, or a simplistic bedroom for those people that I really don't care about, you know, those settlers that I just don't like that get on my nerves. Also, this really big room for everybody to come into. I actually gave it columns. You can give it columns. You can even do corner columns as well. So in the corner of a room, you can put corners. Um, over here, I ended up putting a bunch of chairs because here's some sales racks here and then a stage. I ended up putting a wooden pallet there for a stage, kind of to do a makeshift stage. So you can just sit down, you know, view whoever is entertaining for the night and then there's a bar right next to it so you can go up and ask the bartender for a new cola quantum maybe a brandy some whiskey some fine wine vodka whatever you have or whatever you may desire for that night but yeah that was the thing i ended up putting a lot of ceiling fans up there too i don't know why it just felt like putting a shit ton of ceiling fans kind of felt like working with as many materials as i wanted i also made this really big hallway for no apparent reason and so you go down the hallway and you actually get to the last room of my entire vault that I have so far. And you'll also see the random ash generator. I ended up putting restricted area because this is my room. This is my own fancy little room I want to go in when, you know, I want to get away from those settlers. So I have a shit ton of turrets, some ammo, a generator that powers the entire vault for some apparent reason. It's a small generator, but it powers the entire fucking facility. I don't know. It's fucking weird. So, Nuka-Cola Quantum Machine right here, Milk Machine, my safe, all of my stuff, my TV. I can just sit down and relax, watch some watch some advertisements of, oh, wait, please stand by, what the fuck. Give me something to watch, Bethesda. And there it is. That is all of it. I got some crazy-ass artillery in my room, but why not? Anybody breaks in, this turret's gonna be whooping their ass. So, there it is, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on the video, share it with your friends, and once again, you can subscribe to the channel for future content, especially more mod spotlights to come. And this is Hunter and Violent Privilege and Wastelanders. I'll see you all in the next video. Ah, giant hole in your face, bitch. Oh, this game is so good. Never get old, it's good.